Hey Gemini, it's Goddess Puff, and this is your next 48 hours for May 29th to the 30th of 2023. All right, let's get started with an oracle card message for Gemini. Next 48 hours for Gemini, May 29th to the 30th of 2023 for Gemini. Black Hound for Boating. New urgency, crow sovereignty, and overall energy is stag premonition. Okay, so I feel like someone had a dream about either a crow, a black dog, lizards or newts or something, or um, a deer or a horse. I feel like it was more so the, the black crow and the dog. But put it where it goes for you. Yeah, you had a, because with stag premonition, you had a dream about, I'm seeing crows on a fence and dogs barking, like, and then I'm seeing horses running and it's like the wind is blowing really strong, like a tornado or storm is about to start. So you had a dream about something or about this or about a bunch of lizards or newts everywhere. I feel like if you had a dream about the newts or lizards or whatever, I feel like the time is running out for something or someone in your life. Either you need to remove them or they're going to be removed very soon. I feel like you're getting your strength back, your power back in a situation with Crow Sovereignty. Yeah, with Black Hound, I feel like it's time to clean house. So basically, spirits like either you remove them or I'm going to remove them for you. All right, for Gemini. It's 48 hours for Gemini. May 29th to the 30th of 2023 for Gemini. Yeah, I'm seeing like a broom, a huge broom coming out of the sky and sweeping. A street sweeper. King of Pentacles, Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. This person may come tell you because I was getting the um, Taurus. I was getting a Taurus. Knight of Cups, an apology or an offer, a reconciliation, justice. Libra. So the next 48 hours, someone's going to apologize to you. This is your justice. Could be a Libra or Taurus. It doesn't have to be though. Nine of swords, anxiety, worry, depression, sleepless nights, insomnia. It doesn't have to be all those things. Someone could just be, um, someone can't rest. Someone feels guilty. I'm seeing guilt, guilt. And then brutally or brutality, someone feels guilty. Now, I don't know if this is a legal situation or not. But I feel like whoever did you wrong, they are guilty and they're going to be found guilty if this is like a legal situation. But um, if it's not anything like that, someone just feels guilty and they're going to apologize. Whether it's a legal situation or not, they're going to apologize or they're going to be forced to. Over on just the page of wands because the court's. Like, if you're in a court situation, this person may apologize to you in court after they've been found guilty or during a settlement of some kind, but they're only doing it because they feel forced, they feel embarrassed, because everybody's looking at them, like, with shame. They feel shamed and they feel guilty, so they're going to apologize. This person's not sorry, they're just embarrassed or they feel ashamed. Now, for others of you, this regardless of which way it falls on, this person knows they're guilty. And that's why they're apologizing. I feel like this person is losing sleep. I feel like at one, I feel like at one point you were losing sleep over this or you were stressed out or anxious about this. But the tables are turning or they have turned. I see you getting justice for all the sleepless nights you had in regards to this person. And now they want to apologize because they've been so make no mistake, if you think this person just been living their best life, they have not. <laughs> they might try to make it look like it, but they have not. Let's clarify and see what this is and why. This person likes to make themselves look as though they're unbothered, but behind closed doors, especially at night, like especially at night, like this, I was going to say spirits are kicking this person's ass, but like just guilt in general. It's like this person may be having all smiles throughout the day, but something happens to them at night where they wake up. At 3 a.m. and they're sweating and they're stressed. Like, during the day, this person's fine. They're smiling and having a good time. Then at night, it's like something happens to them. They've been having nightmares. Or they've been waking up at 3 a.m. 
Clarifying the King of Pentacles is the Tower of Aries. Yeah, if you don't get this person out of your life, they're going to be removed. Three of Pentacles. There's a, um, it could be an Aries or a, a Earth sign, Road towards Capricorn. All of a sudden, this person wants to work things out with you. Out of nowhere, I feel like it's because this person is going through a tower. Or all of a sudden, there's a tower moment and everything starts to work out for you. Clarifying the Knight of Cups is the Ace of Wands, Inspiration. Uh, so an idea or inspiration is going to be given to you or gifted to you. This could be intuitively with this high priestess, Pisces energy. So intuitively, there is an idea that's going to be given to you with the tower. It could be while you're asleep. Something that you need to act on immediately to create. I feel like it could make you money. Clarifying justice is the four swords. You can rest assured that justice is going to be served here. So you can relax. You can rest easy on that with the four swords. Yeah, ten of pentacles, especially in regards to wealth or inheritance. If there's money that you are owed, trust and believe you are going to get it back. One way or another, because justice is here with the four swords. So you can rest. You could have, um, a Libra could be blocked from inheritance. I feel like your money's on hold for a few days, but it will be released to you. I feel like this money is on hold for your protection. It doesn't feel like it, but the money is on hold for your protection because someone is trying to get to it. Because I'm seeing multiple hands trying to reach out and get into this bank account or touch this money, but it's locked. And it's locked for a certain period of days. I'm seeing like except for some of you 17 days, 20 days or something. So that no one else can claim it but you. Clarifying the Nine of Swords and the Five of Cups. Yeah, I'm telling you, this person, no matter how happy and all smiles they are throughout the day or when you see them, they regret what they've done. At night, they're sobbing or they're drinking. They cannot sleep. Look at these, all those spirits, all those demons, and I'm speaking metaphorically, come to get them at night. All those hands. And then this person may even try to cover their ears. I feel like this person does not want to believe what they've done or see what they've done. Ten of Cups. It could be a family member or someone close to you. With that Ten of Cups, clarifying the Nine of Swords. Overall energy is the Two of Cups. Yeah, all of a sudden there's a tower and everything starts working out for you. Things were on hold for a minute and all of a sudden you get to sign off on something. Funds are released to you. Anything that you've been having doubts about or um, looking back on that you were stressed about, your family's about to be taken care of. Your finances are about to be taken care of. Money is being released to you. You're signing off on things. All of a sudden, everything works out for you. You get good news in the next 48. You may get an idea or inspiration or someone may call you and tell you something small. You see or hear something small. Or someone calls you and like, yeah, um, it's time for you to sign off on something. And all of a sudden, you signing off on something releases everything to you. All of a sudden, all this, this like small thing, this page of wands leads to everything unfolding for you. And there's someone here who's in regret now. Because I feel like this is going to sound childish, but I feel like you have the power now in a situation. Not that you're trying to have power over someone, but it was like this person was blocking everything in your life. They were blocking your happiness, your funds, your joy, celebration. Everything was on hold because of this person. Now all the funds and everything are being released to you and you're free of this person. Now this person is like back to square one. I feel like being able to block you gave this person power or a sense of power. Like, oh, Gemini is sad now. Gemini has no inspiration, no life now. They're not going out now. Their funds are blocked because of me. They can't do X, Y, Z because of me. But all of a sudden, everything's released to you or everything works out for you or you work something out with someone. All your funds are released. You're celebrating. You're, everything's like, all of a sudden, it just starts working for you. And now this person's back to square one with nothing. Now they feel like a loser again. All right, for Gemini. Mushrooms, quiet growth, the hidden peace. 
Yeah, I feel like you moved in silence and that's why this person felt so proud or so powerful at one point. Wolf, the self without others, a calling the great expansion. You may have had to do this all by yourself. Praying mantis, wit manipulation, fun. Yeah, this person liked having you stressed out. I'm telling you, this person got their power with crow sovereignty from being manipulative. They had fun with this. They were smiling. They were enjoying it. They were enjoying having you stressed, losing sleep. And now you're released. Rabbit, waiting, adventure, making leaps. Don't feel the need to go public about how happy you are now. And don't feel the need to prove anything to anyone. This person will see eventually, by the time you're already free, you're going to be moved on, going on vacations, trips, having fun with your family and celebrating. And this person, it'll hit them all at once. Like, oh shit, I don't have control over someone anymore. It's back to square one. It's back to what I was doing. Nothing. They got to go back to their mediocre life. This person got all their fun and excitement from blocking you and stressing you out. And then now that they can't do that anymore, now it's like back to their boring life. All right, for Gemini. Now you feel inspired, you feel free, ready to take your next step, or you will in the next 48 for Gemini. Overall energy is success. November, so the month of November could have been significant or could be significant. Boss, December, soft, forgiven. I feel like you've forgiven this person in your heart and that's why you freed yourself here. Because with the four swords, I'm, I'm feeling that in, like, in my chest. I feel like you did it just to like, free yourself. I feel like this person's going to get an intuitive message as you are letting this, letting them go. Because people can feel, it's like the moment you stop thinking about someone or talking about someone or just detach yourself altogether, like energetically, that's when these people start to fly back into your life, right? Yeah, return and aggression. So someone's mad. I feel like <laughs> this is going to sound so funny. I feel like the moment you let this go and you're being soft and you're being kind and, you know, you're very successful and everything's going well, this person comes back very aggressively and they might not even really know why they're mad, but they're, 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 they know why they're mad, but they don't understand it. It's like they're mad because you've released them and let it go. They're mad that you've forgiven them. They're mad that you're being soft with them. When If they do reach out to you, they're just upset because they, they don't have control over you anymore. They've lost control or the situation isn't going like they thought it was. This could have started back in November or December. Yeah, I just feel like you're over it. <laughs> you're free from this. All right, I'm going to leave it there. I send you peace, blessings, and love. Namaste.